Hey guys! Today I'm going to take you through a Sun Salutation A and B, or Surya Namaskar A and B. And this is such an amazing uh, warm up to really prepare you for anything. Um, it is really energizing, um, it helps to wake up all the major muscles, um, and it's also very soothing because it's um, repetitious, which is really, um, it adds that meditative quality. I love sun salutation and it's a really great thing to be able to do like if you are um, traveling, you're in your hotel room, um, or you just need um, something to do uh, that you don't really have to think about what um, comes next, right? It's something you can just really drop into. So I'm gonna take you through sun salutation A um, and then B. So A is done five times and B is done five times as well. So you're gonna start at the top of the mat. You're more than welcome to uh, use blocks, which is very helpful if you have tight hamstrings. Um, so I just like to keep them at the top of my mat just to be handy. You'll come to the top of the mat, bring your toes and heels to touch and then spin the palms to the front of the room. And just give yourself a few moments to just arrive. Feel the feet ground and spread. Sharpen the legs. And then illuminate the spine so you grow out of the base all the way through the crown of the head. And then bring your hands into your heart. It's a really nice place where you can set an intention. If you have something on your mind. And it's just a starting place. Most to just honor the fact that you have arrived. Take a big breath in and out, open the eyes. Let's sweep the arms down and around and press the palms above the head, reach through space. And as you exhale, you'll dive forward, folding all the way. Hands come by the feet, palms flat, so you're training your hands to be flat. This is where you can use blocks at any time. As you breathe in, stretch the heart forward, draw the shoulders back. And then as you fold, you'll step back. Plank. Right. Lengthen through the heels and the crown of the head. And for the first one, I lower all the way. Elbows traction on top of wrists. Untuck the toes, lift the knees, and stretch the heart forward, cobra. And then forehead to the mat. Press up to knees. Tuck the toes downward facing dog. Five breaths. Inhale. Exhale one. Inhale. Exhale two. Inhale. Exhale, three. And inhale. Exhale, four. Inhale. Exhale, five. And rise onto your toes. And this for the first couple, I like to tiptoe. Keep the legs long, hands flat. And you hike the hips up as you step all the way between the hands. And hands flat to blocks or mat and then inhale. Lengthen the heart forward and fold. And sweep the arms up in line with the torso all the way. Press the palms and then circle the arms down and back to the center of your heart. So that's one sun A. Continue. Inhale, sweep the arms down and around, up, 
And exhale, fold all the way. And inhale, we lengthen. And exhale, step to plank. And I just sort of alternate legs to begin. If you're not jumping back, and you just kind of keep track of that in your head. Press the mat away, elongate. And again, come all the way down to the belly. I like to do this for the first couple rounds. Point the toes, firm the elbows in, and then peel the chest away. And forehead to the mat. And press up, and then downward facing dog. Hips are the apex here of the pyramid-like shape you are making. Spread the fingers, spread the toes. And then allow the heels to just melt. Good. Inhale. Exhale, two. Inhale. Exhale, three. Inhale. Exhale, four. Inhale. Exhale, five. Then rise onto the toes and then tip to top of the mat. And I tend to not move one breath per movement. I go a little bit slower. Take my time to just set up the alignment. Breathe in, lengthen, and exhale, fold. And sweep the arms by the side. Press the palms, reach through space, and then circle the arms all the way down and back to the center of the heart. That's two. And inhale, sweep the arms up, breathe in. And exhale, dive. Lengthen. And step to plank. Inhale, lengthen heels, crown of the head. And then we'll go to chaturanga. So bend the elbows at halfway, 90 degree bend. Press the toes back. Lift the heart upward, facing dog, thighs lift, shoulders back. And then downward, facing dog. I'm going to wrap the upper outer arms in and actively press the mat away. Lengthen the pelvis away from the ribs. Inhale. Exhale, two. The stillness is so powerful in terms of building heat. Inhale. Exhale, three. Good, inhale. Exhale, four. And inhale. Exhale, five. Rise onto the toes. And again, tiptoe, flex the foot, hike the hip. Flex the foot, hike the hip. Flex the foot, hike the hip, all the way between the hands. And breathe in length and fold. Arms up, lengthen the side bodies, and then sweep the arms down and around back to the center of the heart, always returning to Dadasana or Samastiti. And inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, dive with your own breath. Lengthen, hard forward. And step to plank. Grow longer, broaden the chest, and then lower halfway. Press the feet back, point the toes, the chest. And then downward facing dog. And feel free to linger as much as you need. It is traditionally this um, breath to movement um, sequence, but everyone breathes at a different pace. And you can freedom breathe here and there as well. 
inhale exhale two inhale exhale three inhale exhale four inhale exhale five so you can continue to step forward or you can bring the feet together to touch. Rise under the toes, look between the hands and you're going to jump between the hands. Breathe in, lengthen. And fold. Sweep arms up. Firm the hips in. Press palms. Circle the hands all the way back down and to the center of the heart. Good. Final round of sun A. Inhale. Lengthen. And exhale. Fold. Swan dive. It's a nice movement with the shoulders. Stretch the heart forward. And this is where you can play with placing the hands forward if you want. And you can rise onto the toes and jump to chaturanga. Or you can step back. Lift the chest. Downward facing dog. Inhale. Exhale one. Inhale. Exhale two. Inhale. Exhale three. Inhale. Exhale, four. Inhale. Exhale, five. Good. Rise onto the toes. Look forward. And then jump. And lengthen the heart forward. Good. And fold. And sweep the arms up. Palms press. And then circle the hands all the way back to the heart. So those are the five sun A's. And now we'll move into the sun B's. Heat it up a little bit more. I bend the knees. Reach the arms up. Chair pose. And exhale. Fold down the midline. Heart forward. Lengthen. Good. And then you can either step or play with the jump back. Heart lifts. A downward facing dog. Good, right away, rise onto the toes. Draw your right knee to your chest and you're working to step between the hands. You can use your hand to even step it further forward. Place the back heel down, burn your right hip in and then sweep up, warrior one. And then release the arms, frame the foot with the back heel. Step to plank. Elongate and then lower halfway. Upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Other side right away. Rise onto the toes. Draw the left knee to chest. Step through. Place the back heel down. Inhale, rise. Lifting the front of the pelvis. And then Pick up the front foot, step back. Lower, chaturanga. Upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Five breaths. Inhale. Exhale, one. Inhale. Exhale, two. Inhale. Exhale, three. Inhale. Exhale, four. Inhale. Exhale, five. And feet together. Rise, look forward. And jump. Lengthen. And fold. Bend knees. 
reach arms up. So the chair poses are like little sandwiches or bookends. And then release all the way back down one round of it. Then the knees reach the arms up, chair, and fold. Heart forward. Distribute the weight evenly between front and back foot, and then you can play with the step or jump. Forward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Right knee to chest. Step between the hands. And back heel 45 degrees with the foot. Rise, inhale. And then release. No wobbly, good step. And then lower halfway. Upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. So there's, you know, benefits to moving fast and slow. And slow you start to really pick up on the subtleties of noticing the step through, the placement of the feet. Good. All those little things that start to bring um, not only stability, but also awareness of what you're doing. And do one more breaths. I lied. We forgot to do the other side. Draw the knee in, step forward, back heel down. Sweep the arms up. And then release your hands down. Good. Step back. Lower, upward facing dog, and downward facing dog. Good, now the five breaths, inhale, and exhale, inhale, and exhale. Together, rise, look between hands, and then jump. Breathe in, lengthen. Try to keep the palms flat and fold. Bend the knees, sweep the arms up, chair pose, and then stand all the way up. Okay, three more rounds. Bend the knees, arms up, I'm feeling warm. And then fold down the midline. Lengthen the heart. And then step, or you can jump back, lower. Chaturanga, upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Good, lift to the heels, right knee to chest. Step through. Warrior one, back go down, arms up. And then release the hands down and step to plank. Moving through the flow, chaturanga, upward facing dog, downward facing dog. Okay, other side, I remember this time. Knee to chest, step between the hands. Ooh, back heel down, arms up, warrior one. And then release hands down. Pick up the front foot and lower. Chaturanga, upward facing dog, and downward facing dog. I can tell I'm getting nice and warm. Inhale. Exhale two. Inhale. Exhale three. And inhale. Exhale four. And inhale. 
Exhale, five. And feet together, rise, look forward. And then jump between the hands. Lengthen. And fold. Chair, bend knees. Arms up. Lift the front of the hips, hug outer hips in. And then release all the way down. Bend the knees. Arms up, chair, and release on the exhale. Lengthen, inhale, and exhale, you can release chaturanga, upward facing dog, downward facing dog. And there are just little progressions there, the jumps if you're feeling up for it, rise onto the heel. Toes, right knee to chest. Step forward. Back heel down. Inhale, rise. It's just one breath, but you know, linger if you love warrior one. And enjoy it. There's no rules. That's the beauty of yoga and vinyasa practice. Even though these are, might be a little bit classical, you can always take variations. Lower, halfway. Upward facing dog, downward facing dog. Rise, left knee to chest, step through. Good. Warrior one. Sound effects help. And then release. Good. Pick up the front foot, step back. Chaturanga, press the feet back, upward facing dog, heavy through the inner palm, downward facing dog, inhale, exhale one, trying to commit to stillness. The breath can feel like almost this metronome, right? It's keeping you steady, on track, and it's, it's comforting, it's soothing. And final breath in, and out. Rise onto the toes, look forward. Jump, make it as light as possible. Heart forward and fold. Good. Bend the knees, arms up, and all the way to stand. Okay, one final round. You should be quite heated by now, as you can hear from my breathing and speaking. It's hard to teach and practice same time. Good, bend the knees. Reach the arms, chair, and then fold. Take the heart forward like this. And then step or jump. And lower, chaturanga. Upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Right knee to chest. Find the compression, step through. Rise, warrior one. And release the hands all the way down. Step to plank and elongate the front body, the back of the neck, lower, up dog, down dog. Left knee to chest, step through. You can always use the hand. Good. Knee over ankle, rise. Notice my breath, it just sometimes comes out of sync, it doesn't matter. The most important is just to not hold the breath. Step to plank, lower, upward facing dog. 
and downward facing dog. Five final breaths here. Inhale. Exhale, one. Inhale. Exhale, two. And inhale. Exhale, three. Inhale. Exhale, four. Inhale. Exhale, five. Feet together. Rise on to the heels. You can step or jump. Lengthen. And fold. Last final chair. Bend the knees. Arms up. And then stand all the way up. Samastitihi Tadasana. And just feel the effects of your practice. Any sort of maybe a buzzing sensation or that energizing feel. And that is um, that sense of waking up and feeling the heat build. Um, so have a go with this and totally like let it go out the window if the breath doesn't connect to the movement. Um, you know, you want to s take your time to set it up. Um, the sun A and B is such a good way to warm up for absolutely everything or anything. You're targeting sort of the major muscle groups, but also the stabilizers, working the shoulders, hips, legs, arms. And yeah, it's a great um, preparatory little sequence for wherever you'd like to go, or it can be a standalone, right? If you just have 20, 30 minutes, you can either zip through these really quickly or you can really take your time to elongate them and that can be simply be your practice and um, be flexible with it. So allow for variation. Um, you know, I'm always sort of sometimes missing a side or I'll forget a, to breathe for as long as I need to. So um, just take your time and, and enjoy and hopefully you feel a little bit warm and heated. Namaste.